I have here a file, an Excel file with a list of countries, country codes and years. And against each year is a score between 1 and 100. And this score represents the ease of doing business within that country. A higher score reflects more ease in doing business within that country. So what we want to do is to, we want to plot th this score for each country and compare the most recent year with the previous year. Okay, so that's important. So let's see how we can do that. So I just request you to pause the video for a moment. And if you've understood the requirement, think about how you would do it. So here's one way. Okay, so what we could do is we could plot bar charts like so for each country and for each year. Now, I, since I said the most recent two years, so we could, for example, have a filter and uh, basically filter the most recent two countries. And we could also have the year uh, in the rows section against uh, adjacent to the country. And this would give us one representation. But as you can see, this immediately has some problems. For example, it takes up much more space. And in some cases, it's almost quite difficult to really point out the difference. So for example, you look, if you look at Canada, it's not very easy to say whether one year is more or less or the same. So the idea is, can we reduce the amount of data ink that we are using? Can we simplify things? Can we add some visual aids into the graph that will give us a, a, a clearer picture? Now, here's another graph. So as you can see, this is using much lesser data ink than the previous one. So we've got just one bar against each country. And what we have against each country is a reference line that consists of the previous year's value. So if you take Argentina, for example, so the blue uh, uh, line represents the current year, which is 81.99. And, and, and the reference line is the previous year's value, which is 73.55 in this case. Uh, so this is, this is, as you can see, visually much more appealing and easier to understand. And what we have also done is we have a down arrow like, for example, what you see against Botswana, to highlight those countries where the previous year's score was higher than the current year's score. So how do we create uh, this bar chart? And that's what we're going to do in the next few minutes. Right, so here we are in Tableau. So let's start by opening our ease of business file. And here are the contents of the file. So as you can see, we have the country name, the country code, and uh, the various dates. So what we'll do is we'll start first uh, by taking a subset of countries. So I'm just going to select 14 countries like so. The next thing we will do is we have uh, our columns as dates. So I want these uh, dates as rows rather than columns. So what we'll do is we will uh, make a pivot on these uh, date columns, ignoring the dummy column. Uh, and let's create a pivot. And uh, as you can see, these go into the rows. And then in the pivot fields name, this is the year field. So what we'll do is we'll call this year. And the next field, we will call it the score. Okay, so that just makes it a bit more easier. So now let's go uh, to a worksheet. So what we wanted to do out here is we wanted to, irrespective of what years were present in the file, we wanted to display the most recent year and the previous year. So for that, I'm going to create a calculated field and let's call it a uh, current year. So in a nutshell, what we're going to do in this calculated field is that we'll see that we'll look at each row and if that uh, row belongs to the current year or the most recent year, sorry, uh, then we return the score, else we return a zero. So in this case, since we will ensure that we are always returning scores for the most recent year. It's also interesting to note that I have put a curly braces uh, 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 across, uh, around max year. So that's called a, a LOD expression, and I'll talk about it in, in another video. All right. So let's copy this. And we're going to use it in our next formula where we have to return scores of the last but one year. So we'll create another calculated field. 
and let's call it previous year's score. And we'll yank a paste our code here and just uh, reduce the maximum year by one, which will give us the last but one year. So let's quickly see how uh, our two calculated fields behave uh, in a table. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to drag uh, the uh, the the current uh, score and then the previous score, and then you can see easily out here how the, it only displays table only displays scores for the last two years, and any uh, and we are showing it's showing zero otherwise. Okay, so let's clear the screen once again. Right, so I'm going to keep country name here, and we're going to build a bar chart for the most recent year. So what we'll do is we'll take this current score and drag it into the columns area. Okay, so this is the current score, as you can see. So for example, we have New Zealand, uh, Botswana. So whatever, I don't like these colors. Let's go and change. That I'm going to use this lighter blue. Okay, now this is too glaring, so I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit. And okay, this is slightly better. Right, so let's keep this for the moment. Now, what I want, uh, let's also knock this title off. Right, so I want, so we've got about 14 uh, 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 charts out here, or 14 columns, or rows rather. Uh, now, what, we, what we're going to do is, I want to add the detail to the detail section, the previous year's score. So now we can see both. But that's not what we want. We want to use, create a reference line. So what we'll do is we'll go to the analytics section and draw a reference line and use it in each cell. Okay, that's important. Uh, so what we'll do is we will use, make sure we use the previous year's score. I'm not, uh, not going to have any label and just make this uh, reference line uh, stand out a bit. And okay, okay, great. So I think that's, that ma makes a bit of sense. Uh, okay, great. That's looking better. So I'm just going to edit this axis and just call it score. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, aesthetics uh, that we could focus on, but I'm just keeping it simple. So the main idea is to see how this type of chart is created, minus uh, spending too much time on the aesthetics. So as you can see, we uh, you can see quite clearly out here that Botswana has not performed well uh, as compared to the previous year. But again, we have to make a bit of an effort to determine this. So I'm just wondering, so we have, uh, perhaps we could have a visual aid that makes this fact stand out. So the important thing to note out here is that my x-axis starts from zero. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dummy measure and its value will be minus three. Why minus three? Because I want this value to rest slightly before the starting point of the current bar chart. So minus three will be to the left of a zero. All right, so this is a row level calculation. What we'll do is we'll pick up this dummy uh, measure and put it uh, to the right of our current score. And let's just call it, we'll take an average, right? Because I want minus three to stand out. The next thing we will do is we'll create a dual axis like so. Okay, so now we've got a dual axis, and what the axes are not in sync. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these axes to sync up. So that synchronized axis. As you can see, we've lost a few things. Our bar chart has disappeared. So let me go back, uh, select the current uh, correct measure, and fix that problem. Okay, but now you can see we've lost our colors. So let me just fix that quickly. All right, this is not the same color, but that's fine. Great. So now we can see we have got our dummy measure to the left, so it's nicely aligned, but we can do better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a shape and create a new calculated field, which will return a Boolean. So essentially, for each of the rows that you see in the viz, I'm going to de determine if the, <clears throat> uh, the current value is greater than or equal to the previous value. So basically, this is returning a Boolean, a true or a false. And I'm just going to use average values here. I'm just thinking aloud here, perhaps I should have used some 
rather than average. But let, let, that, let, that, this will do the trick, so I'm just going to leave it. And now we're going to take this and drop it on the shape. Okay, so as you can see, we've got two values, uh, true and false. And if you observe carefully, you'll see that Botswana has a different shape than the others. So let me just drag and drop uh, this out here and change the shapes, right? So this is basically circles and squares don't mean anything. So for false, I'm just going to use a down arrow. So to signify that the present year was less than the previous year. Okay, so let me remove this here. And okay, we've got the red arrow there. So this is too small. So let's just increase the size a bit. Hmm, that's a bit better. Of course, you can see the alignment is going for a toss. But this is fine. So I'm just going to do a bit more tidying up. And there we go. Okay. So as you can see, this is a much more, uh, as you can see, this visualization makes much more sense. It's using less, lesser data ink. Uh, and of course, I, uh, and it's also showing me the problematic areas, Botswana in this case. Uh, there could be a lot more cosmetics changes that we can do. But for the moment, I'm quite happy with this. So this brings us to the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked it. I'm really enjoying uh, making these videos. It helps me learn also. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and also like the video. And please leave me a comment to tell me what I'm doing right or wrong. Thank you very much.